Gold Glover. How's that kind of pull up? How you doing, boss? I'm good, man. All right, so you change from third to shortstop. Can you talk about that? Because obviously you won the Gold Glove last season. Now you're playing a different position. Can you talk about the differences real quick? Uh, it's an honor. Um, anytime you get to go out there and, be, and, and you know, uh, have that six hole uh, and, and just play, be a shortstop in the major leagues, it's a, it's a great opportunity. Getting to go up against guys like I'm going against now, Brandon Crawford, who I've looked up to. Uh, you know, um, it's just anytime you, you're, you're playing shortstop, you're the guy on the field. So I think it's an honor. Um, you know, their base was nice, you know, when it go glove and whatnot, but just the honor of being a shortstop, it means the world to me. All right, so I remember we talked in the past and you said guys like Kike Hernandez, different guys that you sort of like pat in your game around, you watched the game for a long time. Who are some other guys that when you grew up that you looked at and you said, man, I like this player. This is somebody I want to potentially not be like, but you know, emulated your game by. Uh, I love grinders. Uh, Ozzie Smith, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Derek Jeter, Omar Vizquel, all the great shortstops. Um, but, you know, at that time, I was a utility player. I had to do what I had to do. Chris Taylor, Charlie Coberson, Brock Holt, the guys on our team as well. So, um, you know, I had to take the steps, and the utility step was first, and now I can, uh, you know, look at the big picture now. All right, so remember we talked about potentially you being on MLB The Show because when I talked to you last, they had sort of, like, created you to put on, but now you're officially on the game. Can you talk about seeing yourself on MLB The Show now and how cool it is? Because it looks so realistic. Yeah, the first two years was kind of weird for me. I was using myself like every day. I think now it's a little more normal. I don't play as much just because, you know, I feel like I belong here. I belong on that game. And I think, uh, you know, the switch of mentalities and the mindset over the last couple of years has been amazing to me. And, uh, you know, that's just one of the steps that I've taken uh, of just seeing myself every day and not being too surprised of it anymore. So that's very cool. So you're a New Balance guy. And let's just say MLB decides one day you could do your own customization of your own cleats. What would it be inspired by if you could? Grit. Um, I think for me it'd be like a humble type of shoe with a lot with loudness. Um, I'm a quiet guy. Um, you know, I, I play cocky, but I don't show it. So I think uh, you know something loud but but gritty and humble would be something my style. All right. Last question. So now that baseball's a progressive game, it seems like it's a more younger players game, like guys like you. Um, can you talk about, you know, the ability now for guys of being more vocal on, on social media, being able to display themselves, market themselves, and you see now, I see guys having more fun, whether it's bad flips or just different things. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I think uh, the modern game has is, is changed a lot, and it you know, has to do with a lot of flair. Um, that's not something I, I'm, you know, usually used to, but something the fans like and they enjoy it. So, um, you know, I, I try to be as vocal as I can on Twitter. Um, Instagram, I'll just post stuff, but it, you know, it's, it's hard. You know, you got to win games to do all that. So, you know, I'm trying to, my best I can to, to, to do that. But just being vocal in the community and, and just being a role model for all the younger kids was something that I didn't get to see. Um, we had to look on ESPN all the time. So just being able to just, you know, jump on social media and, and see what your peers are doing and see what your role model is doing, I think it's a, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. But when guys do it the right way, I think it can go a long way. Well, everybody, this is Isaiah Confalefa. I know All-Star voting is going on right now. I'm doubling up every day on my votes. Y'all be sure to vote for my guy to get him an All-Star game. I appreciate you, boss. Please vote.